it is both artistic and also a form of activism as I express my beliefs and my disdain for religion in my lyrics. The song Burn the Pages of Quran is an homage to Janaza to express my respect for the musician who also sharply criticizes Islam. This requires a lot of courage, especially for a woman from the Middle East. Greetings go out to Janaza. The provocative presentation is an important stylistic device to support and present criticism. I think this is particularly important in black metal. I think the whole world knows how radical Muslims react to insults to their religion. There are enough examples of people who have been murdered because of their freedom of expression. Through anonymity, I primarily want to prevent uninvolved friends and family from being exposed to this danger. If I were to be murdered one day for my actions, that is something I can accept. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with my life, but the music and what I express with it is worth more to me. Anonymity also allows me to say whatever I want, whatever I think, in a ruthless and unfiltered way without having to justify to anyone. I am also aware that fans lack the personal connection of nationality, which is one of the disadvantages of anonymity. The lyrics are actually much more about myself than about Joseph. Uh, as a young teenager, I started to have fantasies of chained women in my basement that I could use whenever I want to and do whatever I want to. But I never did anything like that. But um, when I heard about Joseph Ritzel's crime, I just was thinking, Okay, man, he, he really did it. So um, I'm glad that I have never done things like that, and I also do not plan to do things like that. But um, it was very interesting to see that, um, yeah, he really did it. But um, as you can see from his story, the risk is too high to get caught by doing things like that. Uh, Bandcamp is one of the few platforms that uh, requires you to enter a place of origin I choose Mecca because I found it appropriate and uh, funny. I could have chosen the Vatican, but um, I don't think anyone really thinks that I'm from Mecca. I don't see any particular risk there. The transitions between artistic freedom and um, hate speech are fluid. Personally, I would use that word hate speech very carefully, as I think that this word is being used inflationarily, especially these days, especially by those vogue faggot movement. 
uh, to suppress certain opinions and criticism. It's a disgusting development uh, that people can't handle criticism and constantly feel attacked by everything instead of rising above things or simply ignore them. With my music, I cross this fictitious boundary because uh, I believe that freedom of expression is very important. Uh, black metal in particular is provocative and hateful and intolerant and wrathless and it should always remain that way and not be restricted by social norms. My main message is clearly rejection and contempt of religion. I want people to question things, think independently and not blindly follow the herd like sheep. Every person should have their mental point of origin within themselves, be their own judge, be their own god without listening to the false morals of a power institution that manipulates its followers for its own purposes. When I started my music project, I expected strong reactions and death threats from radical Muslims. So far, however, uh, this has been limited. I think black metal is simply too unpopular to appear in the mainstream. I was very surprised by the reactions from the Middle East. I got a lot of positive feedback and messages from different countries such as Iran, Turkey, Algeria, Palestine, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, also ex-Muslims from Canada, Poland, Germany, France or Russia. They write me messages and thank me for the music and for expressing what they think. It feels good and uh, at the same time it shows me um, that there are people around the world who reject Islam. I think that people in Western countries often don't know that. Especially in Muslim countries where religion is involved in the state, there are many people who reject the system and the religion. It's definitely both. I always rejected religion. I have read the Bible and the Quran. Islam, Judaism, Christianity, it's all the same filth. They all have the same origin and fight each other. There are also thousands of variants in Islam itself. The two main groups, Shiites and Sunnis, are enemies of one another even though they all read the same book. Anyone who still considers this book is useful is, is very stupid in my opinion. Black metal has always been the enemy of religion, especially to Christianity, but uh, Christianity has no more power these days and influence to people as in the past. Uh, but criticizing Christianity and music is still okay, but um, the negative influence and threat of Islam is currently much higher and more dangerous. Therefore, in my opinion, the next logical step is to concentrate on that. I think that black metal can cross borders. Of course, it may be that the general public of the metal community thinks that my 
content goes too far, but uh, that doesn't interest me. It doesn't matter because um, my music isn't made for everyone, and I I cannot identify with the broad masses of the metal community anyway. Especially as an independent artist, I can live out my creative freedom without external pressure or expectations. But I also think that it would be an advantage to be on a label because I might be able to give live gigs. But um, however, I would of course need uh, guest musicians for that because I'm a one-man band. Um, another advantage would be, of course, um, have to have an international merchandise shop, as I am often asked for uh, buy CDs and T-shirts and things like that. Uh, there is currently a sales department in Turkey that uh, you can write to personally on Instagram to order internationally. I'm not interested in people who see my music as too controversial. They can listen to anything else. Censorship is a big issue, especially on YouTube. My last video, Burn the Pages of Quran, was deleted because I showed clips from IS, Boko Haram and Al-Qaeda. and. Uh, since YouTube is an overly sensitive cunt platform, I had to upload the video again without the intro. It's really unbearable how much artistic freedom is restricted, which is why I also use other platforms, although they have no such a great reach. but. I will never adapt my artistic expression just to conform to society's guidelines. No one should be forced to do that. I'm currently working on the second album and uh, there will be more videos. The message and the themes will continue to be criticism of religion, morality and society. But also uh, personal values, sexuality and feelings. I'm already convinced of the new album because uh, it's better in terms of content and music. Personal and creative development goes hand in hand. So my kufar, be patient, there will be more surahs soon. And always remember, Melvumi, Nebiti Ili Ki Bakba, Wa in the Randale, Unimidlak for shape.